Here's a problem. The, a motorist enters a freeway at 25 miles per hour and accelerates uniformly to 65 miles per hour. From the odometer in the car, the motorist knows that she traveled one-tenth of a mile while accelerating. Determine first the acceleration of the car and second the time required to, to reach 65 miles per hour. Let's solve this problem. A motorist enters a freeway at 25 miles per hour and accelerates uniformly to 65 miles per hour. From the odometer in the car, the motorist knows that she traveled one-tenth of a mile while accelerating. Determine A, the acceleration of the car, and B, the time required to reach 65 miles per hour. Let's start by writing down the equations for uniform acceleration. So this is the problem we've got is uniform acceleration. So we know that x equals its initial position plus some initial velocity times time plus one half times the acceleration, which is a uniform number, it's a constant number, times time squared. We also know the very basics here that the velocity is the time derivative of x and the acceleration is the time derivative of the velocity. Now I want to quickly calculate a useful expression here for this, particularly for this problem. Let's divide a by v. So we write a the acceleration divided by the velocity and I write it this way, dv dt divided by dx dt. And I can rewrite this one as uh, canceling out the dt's, so I just have it as the time derivative of the velocity with respect to x. And so this relationship is particularly useful in this problem. We'll write a equals v dv dx. So then, then write this this way. We'll, we'll write the integral of a dx must be equal to the integral of v dv. And we will set the uh, limits on the integral to the initial velocity and the final velocity and the corresponding initial position of x and the final position of x. Like this, we'll call it v1, v2, and then the corresponding x's are x1 and x2. Now if I do this integral, I can uh, rewrite the integral this way, solve the integral, so it's x2 minus x1. So I just have um, a, the acceleration times the difference in x, that's what the integral there is. And in this case, I have 1 half v squared And, and I have to evaluate this v squared in, at the two positions v2 and v1. So I've got a half v2 squared minus v1 squared. And then let's write this down in terms of v2. So the, the situation is we don't really know what uh, v2 is, so we'll write it this way. But v1 is the initial velocity, and so we can write it like this, v1 squared plus twice the acceleration times the difference in x positions. Okay, so this is going to be a useful formula in this problem because given an initial and a final velocity, so here's our 
initial velocity or final velocity, an initial position, and a final position, uh, we could calculate the acceleration. So let's rewrite this in terms of the acceleration. So it's the difference of the velocity squared divided by twice the difference in positions. Now we need to um, work in consistent units. Usually the acceleration is given in feet per second squared and we have this, the current velocities in miles per hour so let's convert those. I'm going to speed through this part. And there's a solution to part A. It's 7.333 feet per second squared. Now the second question was to calculate the time to reach 65 miles an hour. We, in this case, we, we've got a very simple equation here. The final velocity is just going to equal the initial velocity plus the acceleration times the time. And this is under um, conditions of uniform acceleration. This equation is true. Uh, the time, this is the question, what's the time? That's what we're trying to solve for. And so we can rewrite the equation this way. The time is going to be the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the acceleration. Now we know the acceleration from up here, from the first part, um, the final velocity and the initial velocity are also, we, I was calling them V2 and V1 up here, and so V2 was 95.3 and V1 was 36.667 and so the time when we work this out comes out to be 8 seconds exactly.